Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Vincent and I'm teaching a free coding bootcamp. For those of you that don't know me, I've been coding for almost eight years now and I worked at startups with only three employees to big tech with over thousands of employees. In this video, I will teach you how to write a resume to help you land that first interview as a software engineer. On a side note, I'm not a recruiter or a resume expert, but I do have some experiences reviewing resumes when I interviewed candidates in the past. In addition, I received interviews from all fan companies except for Netflix, which I've never applied for. So I'd say I have a lot of experiences with resumes and that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today. So make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, let's get started. First off, what is a resume? A resume is basically like a YouTube video. When you go on YouTube, there are so many videos out there and you just have to make a decision and pick one to watch. To help ourselves narrow down on the options, we look at thumbnails, video count, and titles. And that's basically what recruiters have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But instead of videos, it's a huge stack of resumes. The point I'm trying to make here is that you wanna stand out to the recruiters. And a resume is just a way for you to sell yourself. You want to capture the recruiter's attention and highlight your skills and explain why you're fit for the role. Here's an image of a heat map study of how recruiters go through resumes. Recruiters can only spend a limited amount of time on each resume, so you technically have around 10 seconds to catch their attention. And that's why it's super important that you put the most important stuff near the top. If you can't catch their attention, they'll most likely skip your resume. And it's also important to use a simple resume template, so that way recruiters know where to look for specific information. So that's why I'd highly recommend that you keep your resume only one page so that you can keep it short and concise and to the point. In addition, companies also use tools like ATS, which stands for Applicant Tracking System. They use this tool to keep track of each applicant throughout the hiring pipeline. And they also use it to screen resumes. So that's why it's very important to have keywords that match a job description. Now let's talk about how to write a resume. At the top, you want to put your name in big, bold letters. Then you want to include your contact information, like your phone number, your email, and your LinkedIn. This allows the recruiter to be able to contact you if there's a right fit. Next, you want to include a small line underneath that quickly summarizes the role that you'll be applying to. So in our case, we could put software engineer because that's the role that we want to apply for. And below it, you should add a list of technical skills that you have. So through this bootcamp, we learn Python, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, React, Next.js, and also GitHub. This is great for a generic resume, but if you want to make a tailored resume for a job, you should go through the job posting and look for keywords that you can include in the skills section. And if you don't have the skill, feel free to watch a YouTube video, build a project on it, and then you can include it in your resume. This will definitely increase your chances of passing the ATS systems. Next, if you're applying for an internship, make sure to put your education section next. But if you're not, make sure to put this at the bottom of your resume. Next, you'll have a section where you can talk about your previous experiences. Even if your previous experiences is not technical, you can still include it and make it sound technical. So first, you want to put the name of the company and also the role that you had. Then you'd want to add the location and also how long you've worked there. If you're still working there, you can just put it as present. Next, you will want to add some bullet points to talk about what you did in that position and just stick to two to three bullets max. One thing I wanna stress is that you wanna focus on the key main impacts. So try not to list out each and every task that you did. For example, let's say that you worked at McDonald's. It's not a technical role, but you can definitely word it in a technical way. Instead of writing serve customers food, you can write serve food to over 50 customers per shift. By adding a quantitative metric, it shows that you can measure results and also be able to deliver impact. This is a very small tweak, but as you can see, it sounds a lot better and it will definitely put you above other candidates. Next, we have the project section. This is where people with no experience can shine. And my favorite part about being a software engineer is that if I don't have a specific skill, I can build a project and learn about it and then put it on my resume. So let's put the most recent project that we built in the bootcamp, the Pokédex app. So here we name the project and we provide a high level of what we did. So here we did front end development. Then we want to include a link so that the recruiter slash interviewer can view our project. Next, we can add some bullets to talk about what we did. So the first bullet should explain what we built and how we built it. So here we implemented a paginated Pokédex app with Next.js and deployed with Versal. For the next bullet, we can add some measurable metrics. For example, how many users have used our application. So that's why it's important that you share your application with your friends and family so that we can add this metric to our resume. Even if it's only two people, that's better than none. So in general, you should try to have at least three projects on your resume. I'd highly recommend that you build projects that you care about. 
you'll be able to talk about it. For example, if you just made a generic calculator app, it's very hard to sound passionate and talk about it. If you want a great example, feel free to check out this video where I talk about a project that I did in the past and how I added it to my resume and also how I talk about it in an interview. Nice, and that's pretty much how you write a resume. It's not rocket science, but make sure to put some time into it. Remember, the goal here is to highlight your skills and not list out every single task that you've done. Keep it short and concise so that a recruiter can scan through it very easily. If you need a free template, check out the description for my Beacons link. Here you can get a copy of a template that I created based off of my own resume. After you're done writing your resume, feel free to drop it in the Resume Roast channel on my Discord. This way you can get feedback and also provide feedback to other people. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.